Hey, welcome back to Off The Grid With Bert. It's been a while since I've made a video. It's been busy with work and stuff, but thought I'd do this one because uh, it shows a successful modification of the Bay Run waste oil burner um, pump, air pumps. So what we've done, this is the original, the original back end, right? So we had pressure adjustment and a pressure gauge. Now the problem with this housing, if you can see that on film, see how it's warped out of shape? And what happens is, is once that happens, the cork gasket they've got in there, which they hope takes up the slack, it um, starts, to, uh, starts to leak. Um, bloody flies. Yeah, we tried to uh, silicon them up and stuff like that. Uh, worked for a while, but yeah, eventually they, um, they leaked again. That was the little bit of foam that they had stuck in there, which was the air filter. Right, so what we've done is we've machined up a 15 millimetre thick billet end plate. Uh, solid aluminium, drilled mounting holes in it, decent quality gasket underneath it. We've gone with a air compressor air filter, uh, much better filtration than this foam rubbish. We've gone with a quality pressure gauge, as these bay run pressure gauges they fail all the time. And then we've got a custom pressure control. It's basically a brass fitting with the original plastic um, adjuster with a spring and ball bearing underneath. Um, seems to work good. And then finally, we've added cooling fins to the housing. Now it's basically just been made up out of aluminium angle iron cut the slots, stretched around the outside of the housing and then with a twist to sort of promote better airflow. Yeah, so that was that part. And the other thing we did is this pump wasn't, even once we fixed all the leaks on it, it just wasn't making much pressure. You would be lucky to get three or four PSI out of it. So I opened it up and found that the end cover here and the front bearing cover, uh, they were basically badly machined from the factory. So we had this space below and above each of the sliding veins inside, just wasn't building pressure. So we machined off 0.1 of a millimetre on both of the housings and uh, that's fixed the problem. This will do 20 psi now this pump not that we need that kind of pressure but it's capable uh, normally with the bay run burners we run them at about five six bar so not a lot of pressure But even at that pressure, they were getting very hot and uh, the end housing here would get super hot and then the bearings, the grease would come out of them and they'd fail. So in between the bearings now, we put a bit of high temperature bearing grease in there just to keep things lubricated. We've got some quality high temperature bearings in there which are basically just regular bearings, but they've got a high temperature rubber seal on each end and um, high temperature bearing grease inside. Um, yeah, as these pumps spin at about 2800 RPM, which is fairly fast. But uh, we've done some testing now and we've dropped the pump housing temperature from 130 degrees 
to handle a much better 65. So it helps things out. Um, now I've sent information back to Bay Run about this. They are just absolutely not interested in fixing this crappy plastic design. Um, this is just absolute rubbish. It's, I don't even think it's high temp plastic. It's just absolute shit. Um, yeah, I certainly um, don't think it's a uh, very good design at all. But anyway, um, anyone who orders these air pump models now, this is the modification we're going to do to them before they even go out. So it's just going to give the pump the longevity that it needs. Because you've got to remember, a lot of the clients that have purchased these waste oil burners, they um, they run them all winter, so they're going flat flat stick all day every day night day um the pump's got to be up to the challenge uh, and every season we recommend uh at least inspecting the veins and changing the bearings out and just give them a good service so we just uh mail them to us in a box and we'll do the modifications to it but yeah it turned out all right i reckon um, and the other bonus, uh, if you watch some of our other videos we've posted on these, you'll hear that these pumps are very loud. With this filter on there, you can't even hear them. They are just dead silent, um, which is a big bonus, especially if your boiler's sitting in an area where the sound comes through into the house. You don't want to hear that noise. Um, most of it was because the air intake was literally just on the other side of that foam but yeah it's just the burn the, they're a good burner from a design point of view like from the, the 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 actual unit itself they look good but there are flaws in them and we keep finding more all the time but this pump would be the biggest achilles heel we've come across so far um they should have had an aluminium at least a cast aluminium version of this on the end, um, straight from the factory. 